Welcome to our podcast, where we uncover the most important and interesting stories for you. In this episode, we'll discuss how NASA is planning to reduce travel time between Mars and Earth. U.S. space agency NASA has collaborated with a private company to develop a new rocket that can reduce space travel time between Earth and Mars. The scientists will design the engine of this rocket in a way to sharply increase the amount of thrust for accelerating space travel and take rocket efficiency to another level. Thrust is the force which lifts the spacecraft in the air. A propulsion system produces this thrust by burning a gas or liquid fuel at the back of a spacecraft to propel it forward at high speed. The new design, which is known as the Pulsed Plasma Rocket, is being developed by Howe Industries, an Arizona-based company. Currently, the company is in the early stages of studying the technology, after which they will start working on building engine models. Howe Industries, in a recent statement, said, Such rocket technology will be needed to support NASA's plans to return humans to the moon, and, after that, possibly Mars. A goal has been established by the Space Agency for building a long-term base in space. However, one hurdle in all these plans is the long travel times required in the current spacecraft systems. As per the estimated distance of NASA, the Moon is around 382,500 kilometers away from Earth. The distance between Earth and its satellite keeps on changing because of the Moon's orbit. The average distance between Earth and Mars is 225 million kilometers. NASA said it takes at least 200 days to reach Mars from Earth with existing spacecraft. The proposed pulsed plasma rocket's developers said that it could reduce travel time to the Red Planet to around two months one way. Howe Industries said that the new design has given the rocket the power to reach extremely high speeds for completing reasonable space travel times. According to the development team's estimates, the PPR system has the capacity to produce around 100,000 newtons of thrust. According to NASA, its space launch system is the most powerful one ever built. The agency said that the SLS rocket system is likely to provide around 53 newtons of thrust amid space travel. PPR's developers said that along with a huge increase in thrust, the new design also gives a specific impulse rate of 5,000. Specific impulse is a method which is used to measure the levels of thrust and efficiency in rocket engines in seconds. That's all from this podcast. Thanks for listening. We have many more such compelling episodes for you. Enjoy them. Do share your opinion in the comment box and subscribe to us for more.